Hello, CP Finite Mathematicians, and welcome to a new chapter in a new set of notes, 6.1, Set and Set Notation. Um, this chapter, it's all about counting techniques, okay, which, which might sound very easy, but we are going to see they can get a little more challenging. So these go into a lot of logic type problems, so logical thinking. Um, so if you're not so great with regular computations, um, algebra and such, sometimes students do better with logical stuff, okay? So as we're getting used to this new style of notes here, um, if you don't already have things printed or if you need to write down things, um, of course just pause the video, write down some of the things, and of course you can also just kind of freehand notes and get some of the main ideas down. Um, our first idea is some new terminology here, okay? So we are dealing with sets. Um, and a set basically is a collection of distinct objects that is treated as a whole. You can think of the set of integers, um, whole numbers, um, set of superheroes, animals, mammals, so forth. Okay, it's a collection of objects. Um, an element, okay, is a member of a set. Um, so if we are considering the set of mammals, M-A-M-M-A-L-S, okay, um, an element of mammals would be a cat, okay, um, that would be an element of mammals, okay, um, a null set or empty set, or empty, is a set with no elements. So we're going to do some examples. Um, you might also see it as this here. Okay, that just means null set, um, a zero with a dash through it. Um, and the universal set, okay, is the set of all things to be considered. So um, in our case, our set of mammals is what we consider the universal set. Um, it's also denoted with the capital U. Okay, um, relations between pairs of sets. Okay, so we're going to consider these negative three, negative two, um, negative one, zero. Um, for this chapter as well, when I talk about even and odd numbers, uh, we're always going to consider zero even. Okay, um, there's a case made either way, but it's even for all intents and purposes. Okay, um, for sets to be equal to one another, so A is equal to B, um, that's not necessarily in this case here. Um, but for that to occur, okay, so ignoring this stuff here, um, all objects must be the same. So all objects or elements must be shared. Okay, um, not necessarily, so these two here are not equal, um, but we will look into that. Um, more so for some problems to come here, okay? Um, if they are not equal, so more likely this here, um, that just means that there are missing elements or not all elements are the same. So missing elements or not the same, okay? Pretty self-explanatory. Um, subset, okay? Think of it as a part of the entire set. Okay, um, and that is so part of the entire set or the whole set. Or the entire set. Okay, hence this little equal to. Um, a proper subset is just part of the entire set. So not the whole thing. Um, so think of a baseball team, okay, um, JV is a subset of the entire team, okay, um, and again subset is this funky thing here. So these terminologies, proper subset and subset are what I'm referring to. Complement, okay, the complement is the opposite, okay, um, or everything but. So if I say JV is a member of team, well, the complement would be varsity, okay? 
Um, now, some players may play both, but for the general idea, um, the complement of A is the opposite. Okay, the union. Um, that is the combination of both sets. So think of it as addition. And intersection, not subtraction, so don't think that, is what is being shared. So intersection is what is being shared, okay, or in common. Okay. Um, if they don't share anything, okay, if they don't share anything or they have no elements in common, then the sets are called disjoint, okay disjoint um, they have nothing in common okay so something such as cats and a baseball okay cats baseball for all intents and purposes there's nothing in common okay um, for example so let's just use some of our sets up here and just kind of quickly go through something um, for like the complement so if I actually wanted to say, what's the complement of A? Well, the set A is negative 1, 0, and 1. So the complement is everything else. And you look at that and you consider the universe. Okay, so the universe is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. So the complement of A is going to be everything but those three numbers. Um, so we'd have negative 3, we'd have negative 2, um, not negative 1, 0, or 1, and we'd have 2 and 3. So you're always referencing the universe when you're doing some of these. Um, F, so an example with this, the union, A union B, um, I am taking, and feel free to add this little plus sign as you're getting used to this, a union B is just taking negative 1, 0, and 1, that set, and adding it, essentially, to 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, if elements repeat, you don't need to write them twice, but notice now I would have negative 1, I'd have 0, I'd have 1, I'd have 2, and I'd have 3. Okay, so I have the negative 1 here, 0 and 1, and then I also have um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. So they're combined. Intersection A intersect C, um, what these two are sharing um, happens to be, so A has 0, negative 1, 0, and 1, um, C, they just share negative 1. So sharing, if we look at A intersect C, Okay, A has negative 1, 0, and 1. C has negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. And again, it's not subtraction, it's what they share. And they each share negative 1. Okay, so that's it there. All right, um, another way to look at these is with, um, more so with just, items okay so now we have lion tiger bear wolf gorilla zebra giraffe and cheetah that's our universe okay set a is lion tiger bear oh my and wolf um b is gorilla zebra and giraffe and c is tiger and cheetah okay um first off true false a is a subset of you so lion tiger bear wolf are they a part of the universe uh, lion, tiger, bear, wolf? Yes. So that's true. Okay. All the elements are included in that. Now, is C a subset of A? So is C a part of A? C is tiger, cheetah. And are both of those things a part of A? So we have tiger, but we don't have cheetah. So that is false. Okay. It is not a subset of not a part of A, particularly because this has cheetah and A does not. 
um, proper subset or equal to um, B a subset of U. Uh, that is true. Gorilla, zebra, and giraffe. Gorilla, zebra, giraffe, all included. Um, is U a subset of B? That is false. Um, B only has these three things. Um, union has a lot more, so that is not true there. Okay. Um, a union B. So combining lion, tiger, bear, wolf with gorilla, zebra, giraffe. Uh, so we're just adding the two sets there. And again, you can kind of skip some steps if you'd like, but just know we're writing down lion. And feel free to abbreviate tiger, bear, wolf, gorilla, zebra, and giraffe. Okay, now six, we're taking five essentially, and we're seeing what is being shared with C. Um, so a lot of these problems use what you've already done. So we're taking this and we're seeing what is in common with C. Okay, well they each have tigers and that's about it. So they each share um, tigers. Okay, they don't each have cheetahs. A union C. So think about what that means. You're adding you're combining the two. Um, so now that would be lion, tiger, bear, wolf, and we're going to add cheetah. Okay, tiger is already included. Not a union B. So the complement. So basically, look at five lion, tiger, bear, wolf, all that, and compare to the universe. And whatever is not included would go here. So not a union B. Well, let's just look. So lion, tiger, bear, wolf, um, gorilla, zebra, giraffe. Um, so the only thing that's not included is cheetah. Cheetah. Um, not C. Well, that's everything but tiger and cheetah um, so basically lion um, not tiger bear wolf gorilla zebra giraffe and a intersect c union b so what first you can do these like order of operations first what do a and c share a and C each share tiger. Okay, now we're going to combine that with B, which is gorilla, zebra, giraffe. And again, we're adding those, so your final result would be, and there's no particular order, tiger, gorilla, zebra, giraffe okay so not so much traditional math but some logical thinking counting type stuff for you there okay so nice job watching those submit a copy or a picture of what you did um, and try out the practice problems they're very similar to those there so again just try your best and have a great day guys thanks